Level 1 Paul here. Today I'm going to go over... Well, I'm going to go over two paid in uh, indicators. And uh, I talked about them... Well, I talked about one of them before. But I, I, I didn't see this other one. They're, they act... They act about the same, but I just want to show both of them and show how how this can help you with both crypto and stock market with options and things like that. So the two indicators I kind of want to talk about, and both both of them are paid. These come from the uh, the Algo Pro, and if you guys want to get Algo Pro, I'll put a link below. But the ones I've referred before was the Algo Pro version 1.2, which is, now you only really need, I think, one of these at a time. You could, you know, whichever one you want to use. I do prefer the version 1.2. Uh, what the 1.2 does is it gives you pretty good buy and sell signals. So if you're doing something like the stock market, it really tells you a good point to, you know, sell. When it's when it says sell on here, that's basically saying do a put. When it says buy on here, that's basically mean doing a call. It, it and they just recently did an update on it too, so which is good. Uh but one thing that I didn't notice before when looking at these indicators was uh there's these red clouds and these green clouds. And basically, when when your candles are above the green cloud, it usually means bullish. And when they're below the red cloud, it usually means uh, selling. Or, you know, if you're doing stock market, it means uh, put. So this is the one I did use in the past. And I find it pretty helpful. You can use it for the stock market. Well, I, I use it for the stock market. And it, uh, what you what you can do is whenever it gives you... Now, I do have the 1348 uh, loaded uh, EMAs, and I have that always. That's uh, I always have that on here, and then I have a third indicator to help. But you see the sell signal right here. So if you were to come in right here and do a option and you just wrote it out... This, and I am on the hour. That is a $13 difference in price. Uh, that's over $500 doing SPY. And you can see it helps very much. Now what I do, uh, in addition to the um, buy-sell signals and the clouds, is if if the candles are kind of struggling in between the, the, the clouds... Uh, I usually don't play because that usually means they're, you know, it's 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 a struggle with uh, the market if it's like in, going in between uh, the red and green clouds. Um, as you can see, let me see if I can find a moment where that happens. Okay, kind of like for an example, kind of like right here, you kind of see it. You know, it's it's. I call it like the quicksand when it's like going down or up. And when you want to focus on and when it's above, either above the green cloud or below the red uh, red cloud here. And th those are good signals for me to do calls and puts. And it works for, same thing works for, you know, Bitcoin to, uh, you know, same thing if it's... It gives buy sell signals, and it's above the green cloud. That's a uh, that's bullish. If 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 it goes, you can see right here, it the it gives a signal to sell, and it's below the red cloud. So that's a signal that it's that it's going to drop. And what I was talking about a second ago, where you know it kind of struggles in between the cloud. That's I don't do that because it looks that's a moment when the market looks like it's struggling. I only do it when it's above the green or below the red and there's buy and sell signals. But that's what I wanted to talk about. That's what, what I went over before today. I kind of want to go over another indicator which is pretty similar to this. Let me go back to stocks.
Let me go back to stocks. Now the other indicator, which is very similar, it is called the, and these are both from the same company, paid indicators. It's the Algo Pro Reverse, Reverse a Suite. And what this basically does is it lets you know there's no buy or sell signals, but it gives you a good signal. Is it in that moment? Is it bearish or bullish? So if we, you know, if we, you know, with the other one, you can, like, there's certain moments where it gives you buy and sell signals. This just tells you, okay, are we currently bullish or is it going to be going bullish or is it going to be going bearish? Right here, you see it say bullish. No, I'm on the S&P 500. You see it going bullish right here and then it goes up and then up. This is the end of uh, S&P so far, but right now S&P 500 is uh, triggering that it's going to be uh, bearish. It's going to be bearish for Monday is pretty much what it's saying. But let's go back a little bit. Okay, so up here it signals bearish and then it goes down. It starts going down. So it signals that it's going to be bearish, so this works good for uh, uh, options. And you can see right here, it signals bullish, and it was pretty pretty accurate because it did it did go up here. It signaled it signaled bullish, and then it went up, and then it signaled bearish, and then it went down. Let's see if we can find that again. So it signaled It signal bearish right here, and then it went down a little bit. And it's not perfect, but you know, it, it signaled it here and it went down a little bit here. This was, it wasn't much, let's see. So right here, the price was 411, and then it signaled So it can predict. It went down by a dollar, but these are mainly good for catching big moments of when it's bearish and bullish. Let's see if it caught this moment right here. Okay, so it picked up on it going bearish right here. It didn't pick up that right there. So anyway, this is a good indicator. It's See, it picked up bearish, and then it goes down. So it's able to detect most of them, not all of them. But if you were to ask me, though, which one I really prefer when, like, if I'm doing options and things like that, uh, I actually prefer the Algo Pro version 1.2 because this gives a good, to me, it gives good buy-sell signals. See, so it nailed this one exactly right here. This, this would be a good call. Uh, it's pretty accurate on... Uh, then, it, then a put right here, nailed that one. Uh, it nailed this call right here. So the actual the Algo Pro version 1.2 actually... Uh, it's pretty accurate on your, your signals, whether to do calls and puts. Now, when... When you're doing options uh, with this, when I'm currently on S&P 500. Uh, when it says buy, that you that mean that really translates to doing calls. When it says sell, it translates to doing puts. If you're not using this with options, you can only use it for you know to catch the moments when it's going up, like right here. So I find these very helpful. But if you if I were to do options, I would be doing the Algo Pro version 1.2. Uh, so anyway, that's kind of what I do. I use the Algo Pro ver when I'm doing options. I use the Algo Pro version 1.2 to see, and I do it on the hour to see if it signals, uh, you know, buys or sells. And then I also have the 1348 uh, EMAs as well. And I also refer now because I understand more about the clouds. Uh, when the candles are above the green, that mean that usually means bullish, and when it's 
When it's below the red, that usually means uh, it's going down. So anyway, I just thought I'd make that video. If you guys want to get this, uh, the Algo Pro uh, indicators, I'll put a link below to get these specific indicators. I am going to be going over some other indicators, some other strategies coming up in the next couple days. Other than that, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in future videos.